For most people, using the internet, watching TV, basically boils down to this. A laptop on your lap and a remote control in hand, channel surfing. These two things, TV and the internet, have remained entirely different universes of information. But here, at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, some of the biggest companies in the world, and a lot of smaller ones, are trying to change that. They're trying to figure out how to converge those two experiences in a way that we'll all buy and bring home to our living rooms. The current way we're viewing uh, video is very fragmented. TVs have one, online is another. There are lots of different applications, and so everything is tied up into various devices and you really just can't bring that full experience together. But in the last few years, things have been changing. As more Americans own these giant flat screen TVs, they're watching more online video, and social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter have exploded. And so this year, many companies are announcing products to bring the internet to your television. The buzzword is redefining TV. What is currently on television is playing up there. And then we've got all of these different ways to get access to that content. You can go straight to a channel. You can go out to the internet. Cisco has announced a set-top box and software system called Videoscape that fantasizes about a better way to watch TV. And if you want to learn a little bit about that. The demo they put on here was impressive with video conferencing and socially networked videos, but nothing like it will be on sale anytime soon. And we're able to have these devices interact with the TV programming. So you see here it says what we're watching on the screen behind us. And then other companies like Yahoo want to layer the internet on top of TV programming. The payoff here could be huge. There's a potential to make money not only selling new devices to consumers, but also selling services like movies, TV shows, apps, and things we haven't heard of yet. It all sounds very promising, and there is progress being made, but there's been a number of bumps along the road. For instance, here at the Sony booth, we were hoping to try out Google TV, but instead all we see is a picture of it on the screens behind us. Google TV has been plagued by delays and by bad reviews, and Google, like other companies, is realizing it's incredibly hard to get every piece of the internet TV food chain right. And this is actually going to pull up YouTube HD. The hurdles are significant. Companies need to convince consumers to switch over to a whole new way of interacting with their television. And it's not a certainty that the technologies will be easy to use. Remember how hard it was just to program your VCR? To be honest, nothing I've seen so far totally blows me away. And CES is infamous for flashy presentations and new technologies that don't pan out. But Internet TV is different. Internet TV is happening. And every year it gets a little more compelling and a little easier to use. In other words, we're getting there.